All right, War Game Design Studios, Creeks Marine, um, using the release version now. It just came out, uh, and uh, this scenario, which I've kind of done an initial setup for, uh, simulates the swordfish attack on the Bismarck, uh, the one that damaged the rudder and made it so that uh, actually the Bismarck couldn't get away. So here's the situation. I had to tweak this a little. Uh, I believe the Bismarck is down here somewhere. Well, I kind of know it is. Uh, we've got the RN forces in place. We've got the Sheffield here. Uh, and I'm going to switch to the alternate view. Oh, and I do promise this time I did turn down the game sounds, so hopefully they won't be too bad this time. Um, I'll check them as soon as I start the game here in a second. But the Sheffield is going southeast right now at 22.7 knots. Um, and, oh, never mind, here is the Bismarck. So let's uh, fix that. There we go. Had the AI set wrong. Shettings. Let's go back to the alternate interface. So we suspect the Bismarck is down here. Um, so the Sheffield is traveling at 22.7 knots, hopefully to detect it. Based on that also, the swordfish strike is up here. Um, when the scenario starts, they're just generically heading north. So I ran it for a little to at least get them turned around to a southern direction, so south to southeast here. And you can see each swordfish carries one torpedo. So the goal is to find the Bismarck and then um, attack it. And there are a number of them. Well, I got four here. 11, 12, 13, 14. If I'm counting right, I got about 15 swordfish. Uh, all the Sheffield is going to be used is for shadowing. So at this point, and let's see, the speed of these swordfish is 110 knots. Luckily, there's no German fighters around, <coughs> or they would be short work here. So I think my strategy is going to be at least to increase the speed of the Sheffield to max if it's not already there. And then continue to have these fly down, then hopefully get exciting. And then basically send them in and have them attack. Um, I'm using the air aircraft torpedo resolution optional rule. And if got to wait until the torpedoes are in range, and then I just click on the Bismarck and it heads towards it. Uh, I need to check probably the parameter data to see what the range is, but we'll see. So let's turn on the game, and I'll check my sound here. Yeah. I think desktop audio is barely popping up on my sound system here, so I'll bring it up just a little more. But I think we're okay for sound. Um, let's take this up to max speed, which it looks like it is. Uh, my swordfish, one six, let's see, one eight one, one eight zero is down, so one six zero is this way. These guys are doing 174, and these guys are doing 160. So that should be good enough at this point. Now it's just a matter of hoping somebody spots the Bismarck. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed here and see if we can get a sighting. Uh, Yeah, not there yet. Uh, this will be a short-lived game if uh, I don't get that sighting there. Um, yeah, that's still a good course. I don't know what the... Well, that's their range there. Uh, the way you ch actually point aircraft is you click the group and... Just pick the direction. Right click in the direction you want them. Click this group and right click. 
this group and right click. All right. We'll see. Let's see. Visibility 4,000 yards. Winds are west northwest at 30 knots. Pretty much high winds. So um, we'll see how that affects the scenario. The Sheffield, once it gets into range to detect the Bismarck, will keep its distance. I think it'll try and parallel course. Uh, well, the Sheffield. Swordfish go in. So it's just a matter of waiting here. I don't see it yet. It should appear down here. Let's lead, lead ones here. They may detect it first. Or I guess the proper term is spot at this point. Um kind of hoping the Sheffield could pick it up here soon too. I think it's here. We're going to find out. I don't think I need to make any changes. Uh, I may have to put them on different courses just to straddle it. Well, it doesn't really matter. 163, 160, 170, close enough. All right. Where are you? Gonna have to look up what the purple is here. Black is range. Let me, uh, Visibility, 4,000 yards. That's... Oh, oh, oh. We got something. Time to pause. Okay. Don't know what the beeping means, but we do have something right there. And based on this game, I'll bet it's the swordfish. I mean, it's the uh, Bismarck. Um, there we go. Now... Fly in the direction of the ship, but once in range, you right-click on the target ship while holding down the control key. So that'll be my attack. I'm not going to do anything exciting. I'm just going to uh, fly right at this thing. I'm basically setting the course of these there. Okay, let's see what happens. Don't know what this is yet, but I should be heading straight for it. Looks like there's two ships here. I don't remember. Was the Prince Eugen with it? We're going to find out here. I'm uh, probably going to start hitting anti-aircraft fast. It looks like they're turning away. Or this one's circling. Don't quite know until the ship aircraft get there. Hopefully the yellow line is visual. Let's see what it is. Yeah, that's visual. 4,000 yards. Okay, we're about to see them. I think. Yeah, the Sheffield's not going to be very helpful with 4,000 yard visibility unless it picks it up on radar. Um, I don't think these are accurate. They're just circling here. But let's see. Uh, may have to check the parameters for how close you got to be to deliver the torpedo. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Thanks for that sound effects in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. So let's zoom in here. I don't know what these are. But this is our ship on a nor nor west. North, northwest. Well, at this point, I'd be a little concerned about the Sheffield. Where is she? I 
think the Sheffield is way off the map here. Let's see where she is. Oh, there she is. Let's see if I'm in range. Hmm. Let's check the range. Well, well past 26,000 unless... wonder how fast this is going. Six knots. That's not very fast. Um, it's traveling north-northwest. At this point, the Sheffield should alter its course a bit. This one is southeast. I want to go north or west. Uh, I think what I want to do is go southeast. I am going southeast. Nope, that's I'm southwest. I mean, yeah, I want to go southwest. So let's turn to starboard. Let's go to southwest. Okay, she's fixed. Uh, let's run this a little just to see her do her course change. Um, is she doing her change? Yeah. Okay. If she's going southwest, that should keep her out of trouble. Battleship is coming straight at me. Um, okay, this is my first time doing this. This ought to be interesting. Got all four. Maybe I can bring them over here and then have them come in from the side. All right, let's see. This is a Mark 12. Mark 12. Let's see what the Mark 12 can do. Well, a Mark 12 can do all sorts of cool stuff. No, this is a... Yeah, it's a Mark 12. There it is. Mark 12. 1,500 yards. Wow. 40 knots. 380 kilograms probably against a battleship so I need to get within 15 if not a thousand let's see what 1500 looks like I'm almost there so let's swing out here and then come in Okay, let's see if that worked. Yeah, that worked. Okay, let's pick these guys. Uh, let's send them over here. And these guys... Um, well... Let's send them down the middle. What are these things flying around it? Some kind of aircraft. Are they condors? They could be condors. I don't know how well... I mean, if they're Messerschmitts, we're in a world of trouble, but I doubt they're out here. Okay, let's see what happens next. I still haven't heard any ack-ack yet. Um... Or 14. OK, 
Okay, these are going to start their attack here soon. I wonder if I can launch from all of them at the same time. Okay, let's check range here. All right, we're gonna work. It's time to go. Uh, let's pick these guys, and they're gonna begin their attack by flying this way. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, this big moment. First attack. I'm going to pause it some as I learn this. Here they are. They're lining up for the attack. Uh, let me pause it again to fix my screen. Wow, let's check the range. Still at, we're out of range here still. Let's let it go. Here they come. I don't like this angle. Let's fix it. Let's go right there. Okay, somebody dropping their torpedoes already? That's close enough. Let's see. Oh, the other ones are coming in. Let's check these guys. Still got his torpedo. Still got his torpedo. Still got his torpedo. Still got his torpedo. All right, let's pick this guy. And can I do this now? Click. Flight is not carrying any load capable of hitting target. Okay. <laughs> really. This is strange. Bummer. Let's bring it in closer. Okay, this is a prime target here. Why can't I attack it? Zero knots? I don't understand that. Am I too fast? Nope. All right, gonna pause and research. All right, I figured out my problem, and I succeeded in dropping four torpedoes in the water. AR-196. That's a float plane, I think. Yeah, it's a float plane. All right, so that's zero, zero, zero. I don't know where my torpedoes are. I thought there was four of these guys. Yeah, this guy's flying right over the top. Zero. Okay, so we got those. Um... And let's go ahead and do some cleanup here. Let's at least get these guys out of the situation. Let's just have them fly over there. Well, I don't know. They're going to get in the way of the other guys. Let's actually send them down over here. And uh, let's see. It's time for these guys to, I think, go a little further and then turn back. These guys... Wow. There's got to be a group way to drop your torpedoes. I th I'm going to try that with these guys. Okay, let's... Let's see. Let's give it a little more time here. The clock is running. Did anything hit? There they are. Okay, I see my I see my four torpedoes right here. That's a good sign. So let's go a little further. And stop. Okay, now these guys 
begin their turn in. Let's, uh, let's go here. And let's check the range. Yep. So, four torpedoes coming in. Swordfish coming in for the other attack. Catching Ack Ack. Oh, those look like solid hits if they work. And. Oh, these guys are dropping already. Huh. Sounded like somebody dropped. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Let's check the range. Uh, still a little. Got to get in a little closer. Let's see what happens here. Okay, one torpedo hit. Oh, these guys are getting aggressive too. Let's check their range. Oh, these guys can start dropping. Um, let's let this go a little. Let's check their range. Yeah, I guess it's time to loose. Uh, let's see if it lets me do it. What? Oh, he already dropped. I haven't figured this out here. These guys haven't dropped. Okay, I got two leads have dropped. Another hit. Don't know what kind of damage I'm doing. Okay, let's check these. Ah, everybody's in range. Um, let's see. This guy's at zero. This guy's at zero. This guy's at one. So let's do it. Under option, must fire torpedo at ship. Okay. Uh, that's a ship. Thank you. And let's let these guys go ahead and drop. Under option will start a misfire at ship, okay? Hmm. Well, let's see if it lets me do that. Okay. Um, let's go a little further. Uh, that guy's got one, and his range is there, there. Uh, that one's a little further out, so I can't get those last two. Zero. 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 Maybe there's an easier way to do this. Zero. Zero. Okay, he's got it. Oh, thank you. Now I'm getting a blue range on it. That's good. This guy. Um, at this point, just let's do it. Uh, let that guy go a little further. This guy's speed. This guy has to change his course. There we go. Thank you. Okay, this guy's got a torpedo. Let's go. There we go. At this point, I don't think anybody has any tor. Oh, this guy has a torpedo left. Let's change his course. There we go. Let's get right on top of him. Let's go for the rudder this time. Now at this point, I don't think anybody... He's got a torpedo. I think I had a second wave come in. Nope, this guy's got a torpedo. So let's point him this way. Well, that didn't 
didn't fire. Oh, it launched. Okay. I put a lot of torpedoes in the air. Are none of them hitting? All right. Got to figure out what's going on here. Uh, let's let's do a little review here. Um, I am kind of curious about victory here. Did I get anything? Large picture. Ah, this alternate display. Can't quite figure it out. Okay. All right, I checked all my aircraft, and they've launched all their torpedoes, and I've only done light damage. Unless there's another torpedo I can use. Um, oh, there's one coming in the front. Come on, baby. Come on. Boom. Didn't. Got a hit. All right. All right. Uh, everybody's going home now. So, this pretty much must be the end. Alright, let's check my victory here. Well, you can, uh, I pause the game, you can stop the noise. Oh, medium damage. Okay, that's better. At least we got medium damage. Let's see if that changed it. Still a draw. Four points away. Maybe I should strafe it. So close. Could have been a minor victory. Well, I'll take one more. These are all my swordfish. Don't know if I lost any. What's this guy doing? He's way out of there. Flooding. Unknown BB. What? Me? Oh, that's the other one. Okay. There's the other AR. That's probably what that is. Um, so my swordfish, as far as I know, do one last check. If that's it, um, I think I'm done because the Sheffield isn't going to close on this monster. She's got all her guns intact. Okay, zero. Got zero there. Zero here. Zero here. Zero. I'll have zero. Zero. Zero, zero. Where'd this guy? Yep. I guess I'm waiting to see if I get a blue circle to see if these guys. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, what's the Sheffield up to real quick? Uh, let's see. The Bismarck is flooding at zero knots. Well, I could see what would happen if the Sheffield closed. Set these guys up here. Send these guys up here. Send these guys up here. Go back to the carrier. Get some more torpedoes, and the Sheffield's almost in range. <coughs> That's intriguing. Let's see what happens. Um, I've got four points short of a minor victory. Any of you? Oh, another torpedo out there. Awesome. Didn't know I still had more in the water. I think I got three or four hits. I don't see any others. So we'll zoom out. I think we're almost done, actually. And let's change the Sheffield. Have it turn to port. Actually, have it start moving south, southeast. OK. Flooding medium damage. Hopefully that torpedo hit put me over the top. 
Uh, let's turn a little more to port here. I'm heading to south southeast. Uh, that should be good enough. Uh, southeast. Um, let's see. She's still doing zero knots. Okay, let's change the interface. Let's go to status. All right. <laughs> that last torpedo hit put me over the top for a minor victory. Don't know exactly what her damage is. See if I can close. Now, if I hear a boom from her, I'm going to turn and run. Yeah, let's see if the Sheffield can close and get contact. So, Swordfish are going home. They did land at least three or four hits. And it appears she's at zero knots, which is good enough for the battleships to show up and finish her off. Let's see. Slower, faster. Let's see what happens when she moves into the black line. See if my primary gun starts firing. Yeah, and then we're done with this one. Um, yeah, and like I said, if I hear her firing at me, I'm going to turn and run. Uh, let's see what the range is. Oh, no. The only way we're going to see her, unless I fire with radar, is get within 4,000 yards. Now she's gone. Uh, time remaining. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Time remaining, 14 minutes. So we're only 15 minutes. We could play this further, but the Sheffield is a light cruiser doesn't need to get in range of the Bismarck. All right. I didn't get an instant win either. But I think we're good enough here. Let's look at this. 196. Oh, it's going up. I wonder why that is. Maybe she's sinking. Well, Oh, let's go. Let's follow Nelson's recommendation. It doesn't hurt to close with the enemy. Um, I don't have an indication of if they're running out of gas. I'll have to look that up. But I think we did the torpedo attack. I'm going to go ahead and see what's going on here. Oh, she is in range. Flooding, zero knots. Um, she's still got eight really big guns. And she does, I think that's a radar. Um. Yeah, this isn't telling me too much. Uh, yeah, don't know. I really don't know what kind of condition she's in. She's still flooding, and I'm at a 196. Now I'm at 208. Well, I'll just keep letting this run for a while. Uh, let's go back to stop cheating. Yep, still can't see her. I don't think in the time frame of this game I'll get close enough. Um, I do the math, but 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to jack up the speed. Two times, three times, four times. I wonder if I can go to five. Yes, you can. Uh, we're at 10 minutes. We're going to run the clock out here. Again, 
based on visibility, I don't think I'm going to be able to see her. I'd have to get, well, right there, there's the yellow line. I may pick her up on, pri on radar, um, and this is the range of my guns, but you can't shoot at anything unless you see them, so let's see what happens first. Uh, does the Bismarck come up on my radar, or does the clock run out? I'm at 5x, and we got seven minutes counting down. I don't think I can go faster than that, can I? 6x, wow. Okay, get ready to pause. Nope, still going. You know, I'm wondering here. 279 points. Whoa. She must be really damaged. I'm going to pause it before I run out of time here. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, I'm getting a bit too close. I should see her on radar. More flooding. Doesn't tell me the type of damage here. I think we did some damage. Okay, we're back up. We've got four minutes. Just want to crank it up a little. Well, let's go back. I just want to see if she pops up on radar. Uh, we're down to three minutes. Uh, hopefully the swordfish make it back to the carrier. Two minutes. Still nothing. Okay, let's see if she's still... 304 points. She must be, like, sinking. Okay. <laughs> One minute. Who fired at whom? <laughs> uh, let's run it a little here just for the heck of it. Is the Sheffield firing on... My guess is the Sheffield's firing on her. Got her on radar, and that's why we're firing. Okay, this is kind of scary. We're going to run out of time before it can do any damage to me, I hope. Um, 36, I'm going to pause again. Exercise. automatic. She sees me, does she? No, hold on. I can, I can do this. Let's go to access manual. And allied, no, she can't see me. She can't see me. Flooding, disabled, zero knots. Okay, let's shift back. I think I'm still firing at her. Yep, I am. All right, we'll just let the clock run out. We got 20 seconds, and then we'll see what happens. 12 seconds. Wonder if I can land a hit on her. And three, two, one, game over. Let's see what. Okay. Major victory, 321 points. Did some serious damage to her. Just learned the damage is progressive. I may hit with the torpedoes, but then over time, the damage increases. Well, don't know if we sank her, but maybe it'll tell us. Let's see. Detached. I'm going to shift and see if this gives me more info. Her guns are all in place. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me much, just disabled. 
smoke packages. All right, well, that was a win for the Union Jack, the Royal Navy. Now they can just come up with their big gun battleships and finish her off. So, like I said, hopefully the game sounds aren't too loud, and we'll play it, turn it up a little. There you go, let them enjoy their victory. This should stop in a second. Yeah, I don't know what happened to one of these. Somehow she got shot down. Can't land! Okay, that says real damage, too. Alright. And I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Turn it down a little. There we go. And thanks for watching. Um, so hopefully that gives you an idea. I may not have done the torpedo attack as well as possible. Um, but it did sound like three or four hits uh, out of all those torpedoes, which tells me either some were evaded or some were duds. Um, if you skim the rules, the advanced torpedo rules, that's true here. And I was doing tor aircraft torpedo. Yeah, I'll just pull this over as we listen to that wonderful music. Yeah, and here's how you fire torpedoes. Default mode, fly in the direction of the ship when you're in a suitable range, right click on the chart while holding down the control key and it will travel in the direction you picked. But this optional one I had checked in basically says right click on the target ship while holding down the control key. Torpedo will travel towards the target ship and use determines to determine if the ship hits or not. And we did see the, I, I looked at the range. Um, I didn't know, know if there was a m minimum range. Um, let me turn this down. Let's turn it on. Oh, I think we're at the end of the song. Okay, so I don't think there's a minimum range that I looked at. Let's see if it's there. I think I had the 12. Yeah, I don't see. Is there a minimum range? Acquisition, angle, hit probability, flags. No, I don't see a minimum range for the 12. And this is the one we used. Um, so, but we did use this as our guide, 1500, I think I got this the set to yards, I'll have to look at the settings, but lever definitely leverage that and this cool tool they included now in Griggs Marine and hopefully it'll backfit to figure out range. I think this is awesome. I think it wasn't in the initial playtesting, but then they added it, so that was real helpful. Um, yeah, so lessons learned here. Yeah, I got to research. I don't know as a group if you can fire, but it does make sense to do them <coughs> one at a time. Pick your target now. That would be interesting if they backfit Midway, um, or if Midway already has this, I'll have to check uh, just to see, or the Pacific Theater to see if that uh, works too. So um, I don't think there's anywhere else I can get data on how many hits or how much damage, uh, targets, no targets. Uh, oh, there is victory conditions. It was there all along. Okay. Sunken ships, no sunken ships yet. So anyway, enough of that. That was fun. Hopefully that was, uh, gave you a little taste of how to use aircraft in, well, Crick's Marine and then ultimately the WDS naval campaigns. Um, if I had a large number of aircraft, uh, if you launch for an aircraft carrier, you can do missions, strike missions, and I think that would automate it a bit. Um, but in this case, I was just using the planes themselves, so there was a sense I had to at least individually manage <coughs> launching of the torpedoes. Anyway. All right, great. If you liked it, click like. Any comments? Appreciate it. Um, I'll go back and make sure the <coughs> game sound isn't too high, and uh, please subscribe so you're notified for my next recording. Thanks for listening.